In this video, you'll learn how shared links can help your users give quick, one-off access to content, while always staying secure. In Box, there are two ways to share content with others. Shared links are unique URLs that give the recipient view-only access to a specific file or folder, while inviting collaborators lets someone have more in-depth access to files and folders. Shared links are used for one-off or short-term sharing. Using a shared link, collaborators can preview and download a file. External collaborators can preview your file too, even if they don't have Box accounts. To make a shared link for a folder, click here. For a file, you'll click here. Both buttons bring up the same prompt box. To turn on your shared link, you just toggle to the right. Right now, the default access type is set to people in your company. That means only those with Box accounts managed by your company can view your link. You can also lock down access even more to only those already invited either to the file itself or to the folder where the file lives. Or you can open up access so anyone who receives your link can take a look. In link settings, you can also set an expiration date password protect your file, set a custom URL, or turn off downloading so the file can only be viewed through Box. As an admin, you have a few settings available to you that will decide how shared links can be used at your organization. To get started, navigate to the Content and Sharing tab of Enterprise Settings in your admin console. Remember, if an option is disabled at the admin level, it will not appear for all managed users and for collaborators in folders owned by managed users. Here, you can decide what access options are available for your content. By default, all options are enabled, meaning that anyone with appropriate permissions can choose what access permission to use for their shared link. Box recommends leaving your global sharing settings as open as is reasonable given your regulatory environment. If needed, sharing can be restricted for individual folders by accessing the folder settings. You can also choose the default access level for newly created shared links. If you've limited the access options in an earlier setting, your options here are limited accordingly. In this setting, you can choose to allow content viewed through shared links to be downloadable. Now that you've learned the basics for sharing quickly and easily with shared links, it's time to dive into your own account and start exploring. Ready to learn more? Check out these resources.